still to come on Undisputed, Snoop Dogg is going to join us live to tell us how he and the rest of Laker Nation is feeling about LeBron winning his first title in L.A. It's going to be awesome. I cannot wait to hear from Snoop. Don't go anywhere. He's going to join us in just a bit. But first, we got to talk about what we saw last night. The Chargers held a 20-3 lead over the Saints last night, but... New Orleans rallied back in the second half to come out with a 30 to 27 victory in overtime. Justin Herbert became the first rookie to throw for four touchdowns on Monday Night Football and also finished with a 74 QBR as opposed to Drew Brees only getting a 66. So Shannon, did Justin Herbert outplay Drew Brees last night? Yes, he did. He absolutely outplayed Drew Brees, Skip. And um, I think I owe this man an apology because thus far he's better than I thought he would be. I knew it was athletic after watching him in the Rose Bowl, but I, what, I have, what I didn't see on a consistent basis is the throws that he's making in the NFL level that, that I didn't see at the collegiate level. And so to give him credit because he's making throws on the run. Skip, they just need to find a way to finish these games. Remember, they had, uh, what, a 17-point a lead on Tampa. They had an 8, 9-point lead on, on um, Kansas City. They just need a way to finish these games off. They had a 20-3 lead, uh, if I'm not mistaken, last night. So, and, and he's playing unbelievable. The throws that he's making, Skip, he's unbelievable. I think a lot of that goes to the quarterback coach, Pep Hamilton, who's doing an unbelievable job coaching this young man up. I agree. Uh, remember, Skip, he was the offensive coordinator of, of Andrew Luck at Stanford. Yes, he was. Followed Andrew Luck to, uh, to Indy. Mm -hmm. And when Bruce Arians left, he took over the play calling uh, duties in, uh, in Indy. By the way, I thought Pep was on track to become a head coach so, in this league. And for some reason, so, it did not happen. It did not happen. Yep. But, Skip, he, he, he's playing well. Skip, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because Mike... Thomas isn't there. But it looks to me, Drew doesn't have the same confidence in his arms because he can't fit the ball in the windows with the anticipation because he's never had that Brett Favre or that Patrick Mahomes arm. We understand that. But Skip, and see, the thing is what I tell people, when you, when you talk about a great player, and that's what Drew Brees is, is that you don't compare them to other great players, you compare them to themselves, a younger version. And although Drew is completing, what, 65, 66? Yeah. But Drew Brees is not, at this time of year, Drew Brees is damn near 80% completion. Yep. He normally finishes the season somewhere around 72 to 74% completion. And I see a lot of skip throws. I see a lot of throws that's not getting there. So I don't know if, if, if well, I'm missing Mike Thomas, and maybe we'll see when Mike Thomas comes back. But I don't think Drew has the confidence in his arm anymore to fit the ball in the tight windows. I mean, yeah, you saw Jerry Cook running wide open, and you see guys wide open, Emmanuel Sanders running great routes, and he's getting the ball there. But that tight throw window that he normally could anticipate and get the ball there, Skip, I've seen five weeks, and I haven't seen that yet. Drew hasn't put together one of those games. Even the, uh, when they scored the 35, he got up to the shaky start against Detroit. But I'm going to need to... I, some things are going to have to turn around mm. to convince me that New Orleans, because I that might be my... Is that my pick? Yep. Super, yeah. Yep. And defensively, Skip, you get guys trying to do too much. Now, why would Robinson... You got the man up the rail. Well, what is that about? Why would you try to... Why would you try to sneak a pick? And he's looking around like... No, it's you. Yeah. That's your man. Yeah. That's your guy. Marcus Latimer. Bruh, if you open the door, flies are coming to your house. You cannot get in the press position and mm -hmm. open the door. Give the receiver free release. Skip, why are you mm -hmm. up there then? If you're not going to press, back off. Mm -hmm. If you're up there in the press position, put your hands on the guy. He opens the gate, the guy goes right down the field. Mm -hmm. Saying that the Chargers should have won this game. The, for whatever reason, the kicker just, he hooked, <laughs> hit the upright and bounced it off. This should have never gone to overtime because this kid played well enough to win. He was dealing last night. Mm. He outplayed Drew up and down the field, and they should have won this game. But there's some things going on that's causing me for concern mm. for my Super Bowl representative of the NFC. Well, unfortunately for me and my guy, Tampa Bay, <laughs> the Saints did win the game last night. And let me get this off my chest about kickers because I hate field goal <laughs> kicking. I just despise it because it it consistently changes outcomes. It tilts the scoreboard one way or the other. And it's so ludicrous that we have these little guys trot onto the field who have nothing to do with the game of football and they swing their legs soccer style and they win and lose games. Mm -hmm. well, what are we doing? <laughs> but it's, it's wildly exciting for all the wrong reasons. Mm -hmm. So it comes down to a 50 yard field goal, thanks to Justin Herbert, he got him right in position. 
And I'm thinking, could he make this? Because it was on him. He had missed the first extra point. Right. Wide right. Yes. And so it's on the kicker badly for the Chargers. And y you blew it. And so your team's playing in a hole the whole game. Right. Because it wouldn't have come down to this Correct. if you had made your extra point. Right. And I'm thinking 50 yards, surely can make it. And they show him, uh, ESPN showed him before the game. He's just cooking them right through the uprights yeah. from 60. <laughs> yeah, you cook them. Okay, right. here we go. <laughs> and he hits it, and it starts to fade right, fade right. And then it hits the upright so dead center that it bounces straight backward. Right. It could have hit just a little Care bit. Miss I didn't get over the it could have, but it didn't. And Tampa Bay, I knew as soon as it went to overtime, they're not going to win this game at New Orleans. Right. Okay, now back to Justin Herbert. I am with you on this. We both agreed before the draft we did not love him. Mm -mm. Not sold. Not That's way too high to take Justin Herbert at sixth overall. One pick after Tua, your man, went to the Dolphins. Right. Okay, so this is one where I might have swung and missed because I've seen him now against Brady and, and Todd Bowles' defense at Tampa, and I'm like, what has gotten you into him? him? Against my homeboy? He's throwing rockets. Yes. Rockets. He got a lively arm. Woo! Big arm, easy big arm. Yeah. It's like easy velocity. Okay, so I watched him for two the last two years at Oregon, and, and I watched games in 2018. I went back and looked at his numbers, and I watched Stanford, then at Washington, at Arizona, at Washington State. And, and he made some big-time throws, and he made a bunch of mistakes where he said, wow, I don't know if he has a great feel for playing the position. Right. Then last year, I watched him lose to my man Herman Edwards' team at Arizona State, and, and he threw two touchdowns and two picks. And they lost got over to Auburn. I think they lost Auburn. They Auburn, they Auburn did. And he didn't play particularly well. 27 21. It's okay. And that game threw for 242. Then I watched, as you did, the Rose Bowl against Wisconsin, and he wound up 14 of 20 for 138, no touchdowns and one pick, and was the Rose Bowl MVP because he was the, he he led ran, the game. Yeah. Okay. So I'll give you that, but it wasn't great. Right. And then I watched the Senior Bowl. And they don't play very long, but he had a really good, mm -hmm. just a, a surge right. that, that won, won him Senior Bowl MVP. Mm -hmm. Okay, way to go. But I still didn't love him. I, I saw too much indecision, and he didn't look that confident in his own skin. And it's almost like the NFL game is more made for him than the college game. It seems that way, Skip, because it seems like, for whatever reason, Skip, it's like he plays great, and then he has this lull in the middle that allows the team to get that they're, they're ahead of to get back in the ball game, and then he plays great again. Yeah. Because he was playing great against Kansas City. He made that one mistake he when he should have just scrambled and got the first down, and they win that game. He throws back across his body like, bro, what are you doing? It's like, you can't do this. And then you see him against Tampa, 24-7, to and he's dealing. I believe they should have took a knee, get into the locker room. But, hey, yep. he struggles, they come back, and then... Tampa takes the lead, and then you see him go right back up top, like, uh, -uh I'm not, I'm here to stay. Yep. Boom, he throws a bomb mm -hmm. and retakes the lead. And you see things like, okay. But now you see why Anthony Lynn made that decision. That's the starter. Moving forward. I, I understand Tyrod. I brought you here. I coached I you in Buffalo. I got but it. But that guy, that guy has what you do not have. I also blasted them for not signing Cam, because I right. thought going into SoFi Stadium, right. you, you need a big superstar right. quarterback, right. and Cam could have been your lightning rod draw, right? They, they might have found him, and we didn't even know it. Well, okay. They they might have. Yeah. So I have been pretty right about a lot of quarterbacks coming out of college. Mm -hmm. I told you Dwayne Haskins. I'm just not buying. I didn't see enough no, in Ohio no, 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 State. No, no. And he looks like he's on shaky ground in Washington, yes. obviously. And then Sam Darnold, I told you, and maybe he'll still pull out of it, but I never was sold on Sam Darnold at USC. And then I definitely told you Josh Allen at UCLA. I just Josh didn't, Rosen. I mean, Josh Rosen, I just didn't, I, I like Josh Allen. Yeah. But Josh Rosen wasn't that guy. Again, I didn't see the, the supreme confidence, the feel for the game that you need to play at this level. So those three guys are on the outs. This guy's on the ups, man. Yes. Because you say, is it just blissful ignorance because he just got thrown into the starting lineup against the Chiefs? No, not on Monday Night Football. You know it's coming. Yeah, it's Monday Night Football. And you Ooh. know it's there. Skipping his ability. He, like I said, I knew he had athleticism because I saw him run in the Rose Bowl and do what he did. But his ability to throw the ball on the move, that yep. first touchdown to Keenan Allen, who he lost last night. He lost uh, him to back spasm and still yeah. hung in there. Yeah. Yep. Uh, but the thing is, Skip, Drew Brees, that, that's concerning. I don't know what you feel about Drew, but I'm not liking what I see. He's just lost what whatever pop in his arm he used to have. It's not there. He has to, like, muscle it up 
to, he has to get a little bit of a throw. running start. It's a javelin throw, and it takes a lot of effort for him to throw a 15-yard pass. Last night, when they protected him and gave him supreme time right. to throw, yeah. he was still throwing darts, right. but he had to sort of wind up to right. throw the dart. Yeah, but the thing is, Skip, they, you, 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 I'm moving a guy like him, I'm moving him off that spot because he's not a guy that can throw as, as accurately on the move like a Russell Wilson, like a Mahomes, yep. even like this kid, uh, Herbert or, or Josh Allen. That's not what he does. Yep. So I'm going to move him off that spot. And so if I can get him to move off that spot, I got a better chance. But, Skip, I just don't see the confidence. I'm watching him, like I'm saying, I'm sure he's... But I don't see the confidence the Drew that was throwing with great anticipation because, like I said, he's never had that shotgun arm. No. But his anticipatory skills were always great, and he could get it there. It's not getting there anymore. Okay, but my problem with Drew Brees, because I'm rooting against him in this division, <laughs> you, you don't write this man off. Right. He still threw for 325 last night. On Monday Night Football, he now has 18 300-plus yard games. Mm -hmm. It's more than twice as many as any other quarterback, including Tom Brady on Monday well, Night. Well, Skip, he's played uh, a bunch I know. of them. I, I got Because they love, they love New Orleans because they know the crowd's going to be rowdy. It's going to be, you know, some like Peyton and uh, th those top quarterbacks are going to have a bunch of going to have a bunch of numbers on Monday night because they're going to play a bunch on Monday night. But it was intriguing to me. He made one big throw that actually Kamara made a better catch on. Yeah, you know, yeah, the, that wasn't the throw. Yeah, that was the we, catch. We could see this. He just Kamara went up and just stole. He mossed the DB. This is the one that got them in position to tie the game late. What I'm, a play! You throw it. Yeah. Let this thing get skipped. You throw a fade route to a five-seven running back up the rail. Yeah. <laughs> and he went up like a wide receiver and snatched it like Michael Gallup would. Pretty impressive. And then what happened when they got down to third and four near the goal line? All of a sudden, Drew Brees is completely out of the game in favor of Taysom Hill. Well, they had a couple of third downs last night. They yeah. brought Taysom Hill in, and I'm how sure Drew that? wasn't happy about that one. I skip. agree. <laughs> and, and yet, how can you argue with this play? Right. Well, it's better if he Ooh. runs the football. Yep. I, I just don't, Skip, I, I understand that, you know, well, we're going to give him a chance, but I just don't see him being the starting quarterback. Most superstar quarterbacks, even aging superstar quarterbacks, they're just not going to stand for that, yet he he seems to swallow it. I don't think he got a choice much in yep. this, at this at this juncture of his career. I Skip. guess not. Well, again, now you've got Saints, Bucks, and Panthers yeah, tied Carolina at three been, and two. Yeah, Carolina's better than I thought. They would be definitely Ooh, better than I thought. They Teddy would be Bridgewater's been playing at a high level. Uh, Pelo yep. Atlanta. Mr. Well, Blank had finally it. pulled a plug. He did. Well, Shannon, you said it was bound to happen at some point. And <laughs> look, I'm excited for Justin Herbert. I was around him a lot in college. He's impressive. He's a smart kid. He was a biology major. Uh, this kid gets it. He had over a 4.0 when he graduated. So That was like me. There. I had over a 4.0. Yeah, did you have But it was on a 10 scale. Was it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What was your GPA, Shannon? Uh, 278. Okay, just mm. wanted it. <laughs> 278. No, Magna well, cum later. <laughs> <laughs> I know what Skip I'm gonna was. I'm going to deem this a bunch. Kid. I know what Skip was. We don't even have to For say For doing it. what? <laughs> there you go, yeah. see. <laughs> For doing what exactly? Uh, how about we talk about your Lakers, Shannon, mm. again, as you continue to celebrate. They are celebrating.